Ha. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm very glad to be here. It's actually my second time at Westerford, and uh, this time is a way bigger crowd. <laughs> okay, so yes, my name is Dries Millard, and um, yeah, I do extreme sports for people with disabilities and uh, adapted surfing for the less fortunate people with disabilities living in South Africa. My story started when I was in high school. Um, all my life I trained athletics and rugby. Um, I played Grand Week for three consecutive years. Athletics, five consecutive years in the SA, uh, in the national squad. So sport was my thing. Um, it was what I was set out to do. It was my, what was my goal since I could remember. I think I was nine years old when I started playing rugby, and that was my, my vision, and I was there. Two weeks after my last Craven Week in 2008, in my final year of school, I had a car accident. Um, we were driving in the Toy Skloof Mountain Pass, just between Paul and Wooster, and you probably know it. And a truck came on my side of the lane on the turn and took the turn to wide and basically just drove me off the road. And I had to swing out, and I went over the edge. And I uh, wasn't wearing a safety belt, um, sad. And then as the car tumbled down, I fell out of the car, and with this, my spine snapped, and I broke my back, um, which left me paralyzed from my chest down. So no feeling, no movement. Everything still works fine, but I have no control over it. So yeah, that kind of changed the story. And uh, I had to reevaluate everything, start from scratch. And I went to Stellenbosch University, where I studied psychology, thinking that Psychology will help me with my personal problems, which actually didn't. The whole thing, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing what I discovered in Stellenbosch was I was freshly out of school, in varsity, whole new setup. Um, I was in a technical high school in Droste, Wooster, and I went to study a BA degree, which is something completely different from what I was taught at school. All my friends were at tech, uh, different universities, and I was alone with this new change in my life. And that whole thing, discovering myself in a new environment, it, it really it makes, you think, makes you look different at stuff in your life. You know, when you really lose everything and have to start from scratch building things up. Um, I mean, you had a plan. I had a plan. I was set. I was there. And now, boom, nothing. I had to start from scratch. Something that I always did, what I always like, went to do after like, a rugby match or training, whatever, I went to surf. You know, those of you guys who surf will know it's a... Uh, a unique thing. It's something you can't really put it to words to justify what it's like, you know? And surfing was something that made me chill out. And I went back surfing after the accident, and oh, it was a disaster. I went into the ocean, and these legs were like dead piece of bamboo knocking me in the face, rolling in the water. It wasn't fun. And as time went on, I still went back to the water to find my way and eventually I got to a point where I thought, okay, well, this is great, it's working for me, and I'm going to show other people how it's done and what it, means to, what, it, what it can mean for someone losing everything and still doing something that really puts you out there and at the same time you have a time of your life. So I'm gonna, there's a video that I'm going to show you guys on what exactly adaptive surfing is about and what, if, what we've been doing as extreme abilities and me as an individual to help other people in similar situations. How's it going? Hey, it's not too bad. The idea with adaptive surfing is to take the person with a disability, put him in the water, and change his perspective on his own disability and his own capabilities. It sounds very simple, but if you see the smiles on those people's faces, you'll, you'll get it immediately. My name is Dries Millard, and um, I'm the chairman of Extreme Abilities. In my final school year, I had a car accident um, that left me paralyzed. Before the accident, I was big in sports and I was, surfing was like one of my greatest passions. After learning to surf the hard way, 
my perspective on my own disability changed completely and it motivated me to accelerate in what I do in life. I uh, decided I want to do a surfing instructor course with the guys from uh, Surfing South Africa. Together with uh, Surfing South Africa, we hosted the first adapted surfing event in 2011. Today we did the third event of adapted surfing. It's bigger, better and a lot cooler than the previous events. Today we had over 70 people with various disabilities in the water and some of them haven't been in the water for over 20 years and today they surf for the first time, let alone swim. It brings back feelings that you thought you would never have. Wow, it's my first time. It's really my first time. In the water what we basically do is, we don't take the guys off the brakes, we take them in the whitewash. So in the knee deep water we put them on the board and uh, people help them just before the wave breaks and then if the wave comes out we just push them in the whitewash and they surf about 10 meters on their own, holding onto the board and someone at the end catches them and they do that as many times as they want. It was an awesome, awesome thing, I would like to do it again. I, I, want, to, I want to go again but I but my mother. For normal surfers, riding a tube, that's their thing. But I mean, for someone that hasn't been in the water for 20 years, riding a little whitewash, that is worlds of change. My name is Graham. I'm 22. This guy is just really trying to help me. Awesome. It was brilliant. I've never seen this in my life. The wave is catching me. That is what extreme abilities and adaptive surfing is all about. Um, that's the one side of what we do. The other side is a tourism business where we provide, like I said, tour tours for disabled people with extreme sports, doing shark edge diving and paragliding and all that fun stuff. To see the change, a small thing like just going and play a little bit in whitewash can make an individual's life is really, to me, inspiring. Um, Sometimes, yes, you get at this problem that's like a mountain in front of you and you don't know what to do. It's just like in your face. You're like, wow, it's so intimidating. And, but most of us, the mistake we make is we tend to focus on the problem in front of us and forget about what's next to us, what's around us. You know, you always have other options. And the sooner you accept the problem that's in front of you, it's there. You know it. Don't waste your time focusing on it. There's other things around it. There's other things that you can do to get around the problem. So the sooner you fo leave the focus on the, on, the, on the problem and start looking around you, the sooner you can get around your problem. And making that mind change, that shift on, on your perspective of, 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 of what's happening in your life, whether it be a wheelchair or exams, you know, each and everyone has their own problems. And the sooner you can accept that it's there in your life, the sooner you can start in finding a way to work with it, work around it. And that's, that's a very, very difficult thing to achieve. And I had to lose everything before I got to that point where I can see what's around me, you know? Just to take a step back and see, listen, life isn't all about going that way. You can go this way, you can go that way. It's just about taking a step back and see what's around you. So yeah. That is what I'm all about, and uh, to carry the one last message, you're only as limited as you allow yourself to be. Thank you. <laughs>